so I just got back from uh, my local gaming store, the big store. We have a big store, a little store, and a game in a store in the mall, which I've never been to, uh, for the board game afternoon. What did I play? It was a lot of fun. I played Innovation first. Uh, what's noteworthy about this um, is that I played for with five people for the first time. We were going to play partners, but then someone else wanted to play, so we played a five-person game. Uh, something that I've strayed away from in the past, mainly because I'd heard that it was too chaotic um, and that it was just you know, too too much shifting before your turn, which I could understand. It was still a lot of fun. Um, it was it was a very different sort of game. You go through the the um, ages much quicker, and a lot of stuff happens. Um, I think it was a noteworthy game because of that, and also because the uh, fission card ended up getting played, which it was played by someone who, if you don't if you're not familiar with the card, it's a card that each person it affects draws a, a number ten card, and if it's red, everything gets wiped away. Okay, so. There was a, a bunch of, you know, a, a nice narrative developed up until that point, and then fission happened and everything got wiped away. There was people in very different positions who were strong in a lot of different ways. Um, no one was, it didn't look like anyone was going to win on achievements, but it could have, it could have happened. Um, it got, it got so that, I think maybe three of the five were maybe in the running to win on achievements at the end of the game. Though I, I kind of thought it was going to end on score by one of those cards that says if you have this and this then it win, then you win. Um, so it came down to turn order, which uh, there was several games today that, I, actually all the games today, I, I, I had this hypothesis that any multiplayer game you don't have full control over whether you win. You never do, right? But it's, it's less of a, you can't take it as uh, strictly competitive because the dynamic with the people is going to matter a lot. So turn order mattered in this, this respect because uh, something happened, there was a, but shortly before the fission happened, a lot of the older eras got filled back in. And so those cards got drawn up. And then when it was my turn, it was tens again. And I had some cards in my forecast. So I used those tens and ended up winning because of just it, just kind of how it shook out. If I had been in a different play order, I wouldn't have won the game. So um, I always appreciate that one. The the winning kind of is just it's it's down to just a matter of circumstance then, which doesn't make the rest of the game meaningless because if other people weren't playing to win up until that point, that wouldn't even matter. You know, like someone would have just won by you know, well before then. So uh, the fact that everyone's striving up until that point makes for makes the game interesting. Uh, striving and also playing with a bit lightheartedly as well. So you strive but you're also trying to enjoy yourself so you'll do effects that just because it's interesting to you and I think that's it's worthwhile and to have a good mix of that. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. Then we played Lifeboat. Lifeboat uh, was, was interesting. We played with only one other person who had played before. A lot of first timers. Everyone came away with enjoying the game. Unlike last night, I played last night and it was also a fun game, but not everyone came away liking it. Um, but played Lifeboat, six-player game. Um, it ended up shaking out so that the strong people all ended up being, you know, aligning themselves. So if you're not familiar with Lifeboat, there's, you know, different amounts of sizes. And size is basically your combat strength and then also sur survival rating. So the, the people who had the high survival rating, which means they get, they're worth more points if they survive, ended up all kind of helping each other, and the people who were very strong all ended up helping each other. Um, however, the people who were strong, uh, they had in their best interest for the other people to die. <laughs> uh, so by being this strong coalition, it made it so there were actually fewer fights, which made it so no one died. Uh, so it was it was interesting in that respect. I, I counseled them afterwards that, that maybe they didn't want to keep that coalition even though they were able to dominate, take the, pos the seating positions they wanted. Uh, maybe they didn't, they wanted to cause more strife. And by, you know, having this, this hegemony, there was less strife. Um, so that, that was interesting. Uh, then I played King of Tokyo for the first time. Uh, someone, it was someone else's game, so I don't have a box to show you. I've been, I've heard about the game a lot. I mean, it's hard not to. It's a very popular game. Um, people speak very highly of it. Um, I was kind of, 
I, I never really sought it, sought it out, though, because I felt like it was a game that didn't really... Um, I like games that kind of speak to something else, even though I end up enjoying games that don't do that. King of Do Tokyo, I think, is definitely a game that doesn't speak to something else, but it's still a lot of fun. Like, it's a game that's just about having fun, and so if you're doubtful about it, give it a try. Um, it's not a game I'd want to play again and again because it doesn't have that meat. It's just, it's it's a candy game, but still, uh, a candy game is still can be valid if, you know, one, it's short, there's some, some, there's some intellectual stimulation there. Um, and then also you're with these people. So someone described it as a party game, and I think that's that's apt. If you enjoy the people you're with, it's worthwhile to play this game. I don't know if I'll go out and buy it. I'm sure enough people have copies that I, I can play it. But, I, you know, if I, got, if I got a copy cheap, I would definitely enjoy that. So great time. Got to meet some new people. Um, enjoyed spending time with people I've enjoyed in the past. Lots of interesting personalities, and I think that's... I don't know if the, all game groups have this, but... Um, this particular group, there's just such a, a varied mix of people that um, it's you know, it's easy to appreciate it. Um, last night I had some people over for games. It was more of a we played Zendo, Dixit, and Lifeboat, um, and that was that was great too. So I, I don't really have as much to say about that. It's less fresh in my mind, um, and it was a lot more about the socializing, but a good social experience. So that's it.